Hello and welcome to another inbox review. Uh, now this is labelled as the Handy Page Harrow uh, inbox review, uh, which it is. Uh, but I also wanted to show you the Vickers Wellesley and the Handy Page Hamden. Um, I'm going to do this as a three-part uh, inbox review video uh, because these are all from Valum. Now these are what you call short run kits, uh, so they produce only a few. Uh, but what that does mean is that you get some very unique aircraft. Um, the main manufacturers aren't really producing, certainly the Harrow or the Wellesley, so Valum is basically your only game in town. Uh, as for the Hamden, that is one that Airfix produced an old tool way back, and this one is much more um, modern. Obviously the proof is going to be in the build itself and I'll do those videos for you as well, so stay tuned for those. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be quite an interesting um, sort of set to, to look at, to build and, and see what they're like. Okay, let's dive in. So in the box then, we have our instructions and we have a sprue bag, uh, which includes all the sprues, clear parts, decals and some photo etch parts there. Uh, let's have a look first at the instructions. So you can see that you've got um, some information there about the aircraft, always good to see. And then coming inside then, now I've had a look at these in advance of filming and it's they're unusual instructions, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so, where are we? Right, so that's page one, is there. Uh, so you've got the seats going on, um, cockpit detailing, then you come over, that gets added to the fuselage, then the engines come together, then we've got part five, we've got the turrets. I mean, yeah, it looks straightforward enough. Then we come over, we've got the fuselage going together there. Then the tailplane goes on. Then we come over to this way and the wings get attached. The engines go on, undercarriage, going over and we've got some some rigging instructions there as well I've got to be honest they don't look like the most straightforward instructions that could be a bit of a challenge um, particularly if you're new to modeling however that being said how many new model modelers are going to be interested in this aircraft um, don't know interesting let me know what you think in the comments, I guess. Um, you've also got your sprue map, which is very useful. Then we have our color call out for the decals. Um, two different aircraft options there, um, both in a very similar color scheme, but yeah, it's pretty good. So let's have a look at the, the plastic itself. So here we have the wings and if I bring that into focus you can see that's really nicely detailed. It's very crisp. Um, it's, it's got potential to be a really nice kit. If this comes together well, and that's usually the problem with short run kits, they don't. Uh, the obvious telltale sign is there are no locating pins. Again, how many new new modelers are going to tackle this kit? It is usually for the more experienced modeler and you should be able to get around that. So yeah, that's a pretty, pretty nice sprue there. Let's have a look at the fuselage. Because again, that's going to tell us quite a bit. So yeah, that looks... That looks nice. I mean, you can see it's a big aircraft. Um, 
a lot of aircraft for not really a lot of clout. So, ooh, that is how you lose pieces. So be aware of that. And then if we look at the clear parts sprue, if the camera wants to play ball, which it doesn't, there we go. So yeah, not too bad. It looks like it's clear in the right parts. I mean, bearing in mind this is 170 second scale. You're not going to get the most wonderfully crisp um, clear parts. Ooh, we have what looks like some resin engines. Nice and detailed there. And what looks like the seats as well in resin. And we also have some photo etch parts there. Come on. There we go. I'm definitely going to make that my uh, catchphrase. Come on camera, get into focus. If this goes well, we'll start selling merch. <laughs> get that on a t-shirt. Uh, so yeah, anyway, nice decals there. And these sort of clear parts there. I always think it's a bit unusual. Um, I mean that looks like it should be more of a decal but it's not. But yeah, um, like I say, I've heard bad things about Valum but I've done my research and I think this should come together pretty well. Um, it's going to need, need all my skill. I'm going to give you the box to look at while I'm talking away here, giving you my uh, conclusions. Uh, yeah, looks it looks like it could be a good kit. Uh, I'm going to have to do do my best to do it justice. Uh, but you can join me in future videos for the build process. Um, I'll make sure that I sort of do that as I go. So yeah, looking good. Catch you next time. Bye.